what we have been trying to do is to, first of all, map that under surface or that underwater environment, try to find areas where prehistoric populations would likely have chosen to live based on terrestrial analogs, based on where they live in, on the modern ground surface, and then to dive and explore some of those sites to see what kinds of materials we might find there, all of which is aimed at understanding better the whole colonization process when the first people came into the new world. The first several years were almost entirely mapping and now we are exploring the targets that we identified in the mapping process. What we try to do here is to develop areas where we can literally be on the cutting edge of a particular kind of research. We have collaborators from a variety of institutions and including another Mercy School, Xavier. We have graduate students from all over the place. We have professional divers that also have archaeological backgrounds. We're using a research vessel provided by the University of South Florida. Most of the laboratory analysis material goes on here at Mercyhurst in our labs. These are logistically complicated operations. So assuming we get a full 10 days of diving in, it's more than reasonable to assume we'll find cultural materials. And if we do, it'll be the first systematically discovered cultural materials that have ever come off the continental shelf because all the previous stuff has been accidental discoveries by dredgers or by fishermen or what have you.